What's up guys, it's your girl L-E-C-I-A Alicia back at it again with another video. Today I have a special guest. Um, he's more like family to me. His name Yo. is Indumiso. Uh, you can just introduce yourself. Well, go on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, oh guys, go follow him on Instagram. The link is going to be in the description. Uh, yeah, today's topic is, I think, a topic we all experienced. Our first year in high school, like how it was, if you had a good or bad experience. Trash. Comment down below. <laughs> Rubbish. Comment down below, like how was your experience and stuff. So, okay, the first question. The thing is, with Indumiso, he was in the all boys school, so his experience is way worse than mine. Ah, it wasn't so, that bad. But okay, I, like, but it's not nice being in one gender school because then you don't experience. <laughs> maybe in primary yeah. it's nice, but high Trash. school it's not nice. So, like, what was weird about being in an all boys school? The fact that there was no hands though. Okay, number one, I think. That's the no same girl, idea. Yo, no cab, like okay. boring, yo. Mm -hmm. and yo, then, and Jens are stupid, yo. No cab, Jens are so, dumb, dog. So, like, let's say you, like, what would you guys even speak about? Because obviously you don't want to hang around with the same. Stupid shit, we just make fun of each other, do stupid shit, just love all day. It was fun, but like, yo, like eventually it got, yo. It right. got, it got, yeah. Okay. So then, um, <coughs> How are the teachers? The teachers? Yeah. In my first year or in, in general? Your first year. Like how they treated they us they like kids. Yeah, like, I was about to ask. Like, they treat yeah. you like babies. Yeah, for, for, for um, initiation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they treated us like kids, dog. What else did they do for initiation? Uh, so like we had to make these boards. Yeah. With, with, you had to have a baby picture of yourself, uh -huh. full name. And then your favorite stuff about yourself, and you'd wear it here, right here, yeah. and you had to tie with the string and walk around with it. That was for like the first two terms. The first and two terms? First two I terms. thought you were gonna say first two weeks. Nah, bro. For me, <laughs> right. I didn't experience initiation because I came to my high school late. I came in like February because there was like a whole mess around it. So <laughs> my experience was like. I'm not gonna say initiation because I wasn't there and I didn't go to camp. Like you. So my my experience was like it was so different being with like because obviously in primary school you're um you I don't know, you're more like the same, right? Same age group in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. In high school when you're in grade eight, you're in grade eight. And the grade twelves <laughs> are in grade twelve, you know what I'm saying? Like they they know we're small so they they treat us small i don't know how to explain it properly but like it's weird to know that the grade 12s next year are going to varsity yeah. and then you're going to in primary That's you knew like oh you're just going to grade one you're just mm -hmm. going to, and then now it's like everything's changed um what was difficult also the teachers there are like let's just oh, say I they like one race more than the other let me say yeah, that. Yeah, there's favoritism for there's sure. There's favoritism. Gang. Gang. Because there was a time where. Hey, especially in a boys' school, yo. There's favoritism. <laughs> I can tell because most yeah. boys are good at sports. So obviously, there'd be more favoritism and stuff. So, like, um, the head of grades would always. Like, the rules for us in terms of, like, our hair and all that, it's super strict. Super strict. There'll be a boy that. A white boy that comes with hair, like, this long. But then he'll get away with it because his hair is combed back. But if a black boy or colored boy comes with hair that's like by his eyebrows, he has to cut it automatically. And I didn't like that stuff. Literally last year, I came with my, my afro and then they said it's too much. Because it's my... Cause it wasn't even long. It didn't touch my ears. I followed every single rule. It mustn't touch my ears. It mustn't be longer than my eyebrows. All that. And they said it's too much. So... That's how yeah. it is, eh? That that was the hard thing about it's the South African life. Yeah, so that was the hard thing about school. And then how is like, what was I gonna ask? How is how was camp? Did you guys have camp? Yeah, grade eight camp. Yeah, how was grade eight camp? Especially because you guys were all boys. How was it? Oh, grade eight camp. Do you remember? It was it was fun. Oh, yeah, it was fun. It was definitely fun. It was crazy. Like, what, what activities did you guys do? Damn, I can't, to be honest with you, I can't remember a lot about it. But I remember this one thing that we did. Mm -hmm. I, I remember seeing, I think it was a horse. It was peeing in the water. Okay. And then they told, <laughs> okay. and so like, there was a tire in there. Mm -hmm. There was a tire. Mm -hmm. 
and there's this like river type of thing mm-hmm. and the horse was peeing there then they say we must swim under the tire and get off on the other side and yeah that's 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 the only thing i that's the only thing i remember about cab no cab okay i so hate to you you just yeah. said it was fun though it, okay i hate to doing it but the memory is fun okay memory, yeah. that's the only part you hate to do yeah 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 okay, their story okay. was fun for me I didn't go to grade 8 camp, but I did have a grade 7 farewell camp. So I'm going to tell you guys about that. So in that one, like, okay, the first thing, the food was trash. Like, trash. The only nice thing about it was the burgers on the last day. The gravy was like dog piss and all that stuff. It was just like like dog piss. Oh my God. (laughs) So like, and yeah, the only thing that was nice was the coffee and the juice. And also... Like they put like a five liter bucket of juice, right? For us to fill when we eat. So they gave us bottles before we went on the bus. So we would fill it because it was nice. I think it was liquid fruit or something. We fill it so it's nice, but then they told us to drink water because it was hot, right? Okay. Then they thought this girl had a see-through one. I don't know why she didn't use the school one because the school one's not see-through. He's like this. So he pours the whole juice out and then he's like, go fill the water because they don't want us to like have a sugar rush or something and then that was dumb and then another thing um we what did he say it was not uh we had like a slide like a bubble bath slide that you could just slide yeah, in yeah. yeah that was dope was it where was it it is our camp yeah um i don't remember but i just know like i'm sure it's a common camp because a lot of schools go there oh yeah wait. so because uh, also leaders in grade 11 are gonna go to that camp so yeah so then and then we had like a fire pit we had a movie night um it was dope and what else what else did we have um oh yeah uh we had like we had to do we were dancing like we had we had some dancing which was dope and yeah man that was my camp experience and then another topic i wanted to talk about was how different was like the subjects obviously not in grade 10 because in grade 10 we changed but like was there a difference in the subject yeah i don't think so no because in grade 7 you take the same subjects as in grade 8 and 9 like yeah, what yeah. no nah, it was but nothing like, different it wasn't different Nah, just obviously more high or difficult yeah like, like how how is it adapting to the because obviously you have to study oh, gra- more gra- gra- mats, yeah gra- gra- mats. Mats. That's Let's not talk took about that. Bro. That's hey. I took lip, bro. Um, it's I'm a mess, mess. Oh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna care. Uh, you think I'm gonna struggle? I'd rather get it like 75 than a 50 or 40 for maths lit than uh, for maths yeah. yeah I, but yeah, grade eight maths got me. But I uh, now, now I'm better. You better. Uh, way better. You were grade eight. Mm, okay. We don't talk about such. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. The only thing that was hard for me was learning these variables uh, for graded maths was learning variables and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, algebra. And algebra, just algebra in general was wasn't okay. wasn't the one. So this topic is about our first year, but let's also talk about like um, how is it in grade ten because now we're changing subjects. Well, what subjects did you take? Um, I took econ. Wait, what's econ? Economics. Oh, oh, oh. Economics, business, and cats. Cats. You know cats, yeah, right? No cats. Yeah, and cats. And then you took men's cool, obviously. Yeah, men's cool. Um, so I took business, uh, geography, history, maths, lit. Yeah, that's the subjects I took. So, what's the other sub- subject that you took? Other than maths cool. The econ, economics. Okay. Uh, sure. tell, tell us about that. Like, for econ, a, a grade it's nine, long. A grade nine that wants to take. Don't take it. It's long. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it. It's long. Yo. Do you guys have that option like, where you can change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you changed? Right, I'm not going to change it because it's that or, or life science. You and have I'm, to go to life science. Yeah, yeah and life science is bad. There was a time where nope. we, like, not so, like, me. when you write sub, when you write, we go to our register class, right? Then, like, you see them with. Uh, like papers like this yeah. until it's time to write and I'm like oh, Bruh, mm-hmm. I'm you see the stress fine. of taking these subjects right? I'm, I'm fine, fine well. <laughs> I'm cool I'm cool and then like how is grade 10 like being a senior is it more is it better yeah yeah for me it is better because in my school we're the oldest there's no grade 11 and 12 
we're the oldest in the school so for me yeah it's fine Wait, okay so like obviously you know we're in the boys school right yeah so which school so your school starts from grade 10 to 12. Mm -mm. it goes every grade from grade one and crash i think i'm not sure but from grade one till grade 10. the next day there'll be grade 11s but that's obviously us in the next day grade 12s so yeah so you're gonna change schools after grade 10. no what do you i don't get it did you say I'm it's grade, grade one i'm in grade 10 now eh? mm -hmm. next time i'm gonna go to grade 11. yeah then there's gonna be grade 11s in the school uh-huh then the day after that i'm gonna go to grade 12 then there's grade 12 in the school okay yeah it's okay okay so it goes every year okay okay so you get it yeah i get it I get you it. sure i'm, I'm sure, I'm <laughs> sure. Go I got it. um so yeah like what's different about being a senior like it's better is it more pressure of like passing well because obviously now it's no more history geography you know all the easy subjects so like how is it now uh for me it's better to be honest because i like i like that responsibility it's fun they give you responsibility they don't baby you yeah, yeah. like that like teachers will leave you in class alone yeah yeah, you, yeah it's yeah, fine it's, for me it's better for me it's more it's a little bit more pressure but it's less pressure because i took subjects that i wanted to take that i know i can do well in you know because yeah. if i let my mom like excuse me if my mom Ooh. if my mom chose subjects for me if she was that type of mom that chose subjects for me, I was I was gonna have pressure and pressure and pressure. I wasn't gonna I wasn't even gonna be able to do YouTube this year if my mom was that type of mom. That's so rough. yeah, so the subjects I took, I enjoy them. That's if you're grade nine watching this right now, take subjects that you enjoy because at the end of the day, if your mom chooses your subjects, you're the one that's gonna be working. It's your life at the end of the day. You live here by yourself, you know what I'm saying? So choose subjects and remember you're the one that writes the subjects. Your mom just has to sign. And then it's cool because yeah, I wrote yeah, my I wrote yeah. my subjects and my mom just had to sign. So yeah, me too. it's 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 cool. So yeah. Thank you guys for uh tuning in. Please go follow and do me so link in the description. Uh yeah man. Uh see you guys next week with a new video. Peace.